Hey loves, with everything happening in the news right now, I think it is a really important time to talk about priorities and talking about figuring out what it is that you both really want and really need in a relationship. So if this is your first time watching me, my name is Keisha Rice and I am a dating coach for ambitious Christian women who are looking to find that purpose partner without you know, compromising their identity, their sanity, or their values. So back to this whole idea about priorities and focusing in on what's really important. So if you haven't watched me before, you may not know a lot about my personal story. I am a millennial and I graduated college around you know, the time of the 2008-2009 recession. So been through a recession before. And of course, it was very difficult finding a job back then. But during that time, while I was trying to establish my career, you know, there was a blessing in that because I was able to really focus in on what it is that I really wanted in a career and to really spend some time thinking about what type of impact I wanted to make in the world. You know, I also have a chronic health condition. So you may not know this, but I am a kidney transplant patient. And during the times when my health was at its worst, I really started to focus in on what it was that I really wanted in all of the relationships in my life. You know, I had some relationships with family members that were not that great. And going through what I went through, fearing that I wasn't gonna live past a certain age, made me really consider who I wanted to keep in my life and who I did not. It helped me really focus in on making sure that the people that I did want to keep in my life, I honed those relationships a little bit more. I connected with them a little bit more. I ditched my pride sometimes so that I could, you know, really heal barriers that had been in those relationships. And when it came to romantic relationships, I was single when I was going through the worst of my health issues. So. I really focused in on what I needed in a partner because for me, you know, after going through that, after being on dialysis, after having transplants, it wasn't enough to be with someone who was good looking. You know, <laughs> I really needed to know that the man I married was going to be a truly supportive partner, someone who was understanding about days that I didn't feel as well, someone who was going to be able to support me through those hard days and someone who wasn't just going to flee at the sight of trouble. So now that we're in this happening right now in the news with the coronavirus and everything, I want you to start thinking about the same thing. What is really important to you in relationships? You know, I've seen it on the news that over in China where, you know, they are just coming out of the worst of this pandemic, divorce rates are skyrocketing. Now that people can leave their houses after being quarantined with their spouses for weeks or even months, the divorce rates are so high that divorce lawyers can't even take all of the cases. If you are single, I want you to think about that. I want you to think about how awful it would be to choose the wrong partner and then be quarantined with them. I want you to think about the ramifications of not really honing in on what it is that you both want and what it is that you really and truly need in a relationship. You know, I don't know where you're watching me from, but I know here in the US, this country is going through a very rough time. And of course, we're not the only ones, you know, Europe, several places in Asia also going through a very rough time right now. And this won't be the last time we, we deal with a rough time. Again, being a millennial, I've lived through 9-11. I've lived through, you know, the recession in 2008, 2009. And this isn't the only health crisis we've seen before, Ebola, H1N1, SARS. We will go through rough times again in this country and around the world. You wanna make sure that you have a partner who you can survive those times with. Marriage is not a game. You know, it's, it's not just, oh, this is so cute. We can hug and kiss and, you know, we can wake up next to each other. 
I just celebrated my one year wedding anniversary with my husband. And yeah, there is all of that sweet stuff and all of that romantic stuff. But there's also, is this person going to be there for you if you have a health crisis? Is this person going to be there for you if you lose your job, if you lose all of your money in a day? Is this person going to help you build back if the stock market crashes and you lose your retirement fund? Can this person step up? Are you with someone who knows how to support you, who knows how to support a family? As you are out here dating and before someone says something like we can't go out and date, online dating still exists. <laughs> you can still have Skype dates. You can still meet on FaceTime and you know I will be talking about that more in the future. But as you are going about your lives, meeting new people and building new relationships as you are growing your existing relationships. I know a lot of people are calling their friends and family even more than they ever have. As you're doing all of those things, are those relationships supporting you? If you are in a situation where you're trying to find a new relationship, you're trying to find that new tribe of friends, you're trying to find that purpose partner that you're going to eventually marry, what about your relationships in the past? Where have you gone wrong in your relationships in the past? How have those relationships not served you? And what do you need to change going forward so that you don't repeat a cycle of toxic relationships? Again, marriage is not a game. Relationships are not a game. The fact is, the more we invest in someone, the more we love someone, the greater their power is to hurt us. Because this person then knows everything about us. This person knows our triggers. And when you are with the right person and that vulnerability is in the right hands, then you can count on that person to protect you, to cherish you, to be there for you. When that person is in when that power is in the wrong hands, then you start seeing situations like what's happening in China now with the high divorce rate. Make sure that as you are out here developing and building and growing relationships, that you choose the people who can actually withstand the trials that we go through around the world, in our nation, and in your personal life. Are you choosing relationships that support you? So I hope that this truly gives you something to think about. And if you are ready to take this time right now and to invest in yourself and to work on healing from your past relationships, healing from things that have happened in your family line and truly breaking those generational curses and learning how to attract healthy love, love that lasts, love that actually supports you, then I would love to be a part of that journey. Um, that would truly be an honor for me. So I will put the link in the comments for how you can book a call with me and we can talk about that. But in the meantime, know that I love you all. I am truly praying for you and I will talk to you soon. Love you.